Hi again, Catherine from Wimpure here. So in the first few videos, all little bite-sized videos, we talked about uh, importing the data, cleaning the data, which we did on one of our tables, table A here, and all about the matrix and why we'd want to do that before we progressed on to matching the data. So as you can see, we've got our table A and table B. Now you, if you're starting out and you've got a database, you're gonna just wanna use the one table to make sure you haven't got duplications in that before you make that the master. But as you can see here from when we did the cleaning before, it's added these columns about whether the email is valid and whether the gender, what the gender is. On table B, we didn't run the clean, so those columns haven't been added. But if they had been, we could make sure they were mapped correctly here. Because you might have two tables that have got completely different names for the column heading, but you know that they are the same thing. So you can just do the mapping here. And again, where we've saved our project, it's going to remember this mapping, as long as the columns are the same and the data is coming from the same source, it's going to map it for you automatically the next time you go to use the project. Yeah. So, and the third step, what are we going to match on? Okay. So most obvious would be, let's say we're matching on the company name and the contact name. We want to match on those two just for now. And then we can decide how we want to match. Now that's the fun thing. Are we going to go fuzzy? Are we going to go exact? Are we going to um, make the fuzzy level low or high? Now, this is different for everyone. Everybody likes to deal with this differently. We could start on a 90% fuzzy match and see how we go. We could start on exact matching only and remove that data that's exact matches that we know about already. Um, or we can go really low on fuzzy matching if we've got some bad data that we haven't been able to do much with. So in this scenario, just to show you one very simple match, I'm gonna go fuzzy matching at 90%. I'm going to ignore empty cells because obviously empty cells would match, which isn't actually accurate, is it? And from there, just on this side, don't worry, we're going to go back and try some other ones. It's going to give me my result. So it's telling me in the groups or across the tables what my matches are. And straight away, I can look and see highlighted in pink or what the system believes is a fuzzy match. And from having a quick look at it here, Looks like the system's got it right. So now I can simply export these matches as they are, so I can take them offline and deal with them, or I could move that back into data to deal with, or I could start setting master records and merging. But I'll show you that on the next video. But for now, that's how simple it is to get started on fuzzy matching. I'll see you shortly.